Welcome to another session of RD Works. Um, this is a very quick footnote to the last session, 192, where I demonstrated how to set the beam up. And I said to you, I'd got one really last puzzle that I didn't fully understand. Now, as I was editing the session, I had a chance to sit down and think about what I was saying and what I was seeing. And that picture that I've drawn there just didn't make sense. I almost feel embarrassed to say it's so simple and logical that I don't know why it was ever a puzzle to me. To try and help explain A, why that picture is wrong, B, why we still get the off-angle cut, and C, what the real path of those light rays is. I've set up a little teeny-weeny experiment here, crude, but it's enough to demonstrate the principle of actually what's going on. And there is no mystery. What you see here is a very, very crude light bench. No, I'm afraid it's not to NASA standards, but it's good enough for a garage experiment. What we have here is a little LED pointer, um, which is firing a light beam through the centre of a, it's about a four inch focal length lens. And as you can see, it's hitting a target uh, at roughly the focus point there, it's give or take a little bit the focus point. As I move this LED backwards and forwards, you'll see that the focal point doesn't change. So that's because this is a parallel light source that's passing through the centre of the lens. I've got these lenses set up so that they, they're they approximately in line with each other. Now I'm afraid the spot on there has a tendency to burn out on the camera because it's so bright. So this is the perfect situation where the beam is passing through the center of the lens. We've got a parallel beam of light because this is a laser beam and it is set up so it's approximately parallel and it's passing through the center of the lens and it's hitting the focal point of the target just there. The scenario that we had last time was we were moving the beam off center. It didn't seem to affect the cutting power but it did affect the way in which the cut took place. So I'm going to physically move this across by about three millimetres. Still parallel. I've just shifted the whole beam across by three millimetres and you can see it's now no longer through the centre of the lens. But has it changed the focal point? Let's put it back quickly and you can watch whether or not the focal point changes. The answer is no, the focal point does not change. Why is that? Well, it's pretty bloody simple, really, and this is the thing that makes me embarrassed to explain it to you, almost. This is just not a light beam, but a series of parallel light rays. Okay, it just so happens that in that position there, those light rays pass through the central axis of the lens. But at this point here, those same set of parallel light rays are passing through a different part of the lens. But of course, the whole point of a lens is to focus parallel light rays down to a single point. They're coming in off center, but they're still being focused down to the point. But now what happens is they're coming off center, but they're going through to the focal point at an angle like this. And once they've passed the focal point, they will carry on at that angle and do their damage at that angle past the focal point. So this drawing here is actually wrong. What it should be doing is this. Those light rays here are coming down to that focal point and once they're past that focal point they will be producing the off angle cut but of course they will still be passing through the nozzle because it's reaching the focal point here somewhere and the same applies with these here. They will still be going through the focal point. So the explanation for the off angle cut is very simple. But this only works if the beam is parallel to the axis. If the beam is not parallel to the axis, then you get a different situation. The beam is, not, the beam is passing through the axis and we get it roughly on the crosshair. Now let me know move the beam to an angle. So that beam is now on the center of the lens, but it's hitting it at an angle because I've skewed the light source to an angle and it's not 
on target. The only way you're going to get a nice upright cut is if you have your laser beam completely coincident with the axis of the lens. So I'm afraid that little demonstration um, illustrates my lack of forethought. Um, but hey, at the end of the day, we now fully understand the mechanism of how to get upright cuts.